Hey guys, it's Cameron here. This gaming news is for Monday, September 5th. Let's go ahead and get started. It has been announced by Fendi Ward that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 will have LAN support, so that's pretty cool. Moving on from that, um, as you guys know, with Call of Duty Elite, um, if you're a member, which is only 50 bucks a year, um, you get to get maps each month. And um, there's the question, will you be able to keep the maps after your membership expires? The, uh, the answer is yes, so that's pretty awesome to hear. But this, I mean, this not news, I just, I was just curious and I looked it up and I was like, this would be good news for gaming news. So just in case you have been wondering that question or it never crossed your mind, but, you know, a question that would came up in the future. There's your answer right there. So I'm probably going to be getting Call of Duty Elite. Actually, I just pre-ordered the Hearted Edition. So most likely a yes, un unless I change my mind. But I might as well. I'm getting the DLC. I don't want to. I'm pretty picky about buying Microsoft points. So I might as well just do that. But whatever. Moving on from that. It has, there is a rumor that Rage 2 is already in development. Kind of crazy right there. Moving on from that, Kojima confirms that there will be four-player co-op from Metal Gear Solid um, Peace Walker HD. Um, they're also saying that it, it will have online co-op through um, PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. And, um, you know, so it's for both systems and it's going to be online, not, you know, local co-op. And then they're also saying that it, the co-op will, will be running at 60 frames per second. So that's pretty sweet but moving on from that there is a rumor that Mass Effect 3 will feature four player co-op now for some reason that sounds okay but um, I don't know I mean there's rumors that Mass Effect is getting online but if not this is definitely a good substitution I mean I actually could see this happening but I don't know at the same time I don't but it's whatever but uh, I guess we'll see in the future what happens. But moving on from that, it has been said that Big Crisis announcement will be coming this week. Moving on from that, Cliff Blazinski has said that the Gears of War film is in development. Um, Blazinski has also said that the X Net Xbox is not around anytime soon, so we won't be seeing a new Xbox system anytime soon, said by him. But whatever. But moving on from that, has been said that Connect Fun Labs will begin monthly updates and does have new developers. So that's cool to hear. Even though each new app costs now, so I mean it's not that thrilling unless they have some ama amazing features come to Connect Fun Lab. But you know, I just don't really want to pay for it, so it's not not like it really matters. But whatever. Moving on from that, Dragon Quest. Um, X has been announced. I already talked about that a few times in past game news, but it is a MMO and will be coming in 2012 to Wii and Wii U. So, pretty cool. Moving on from that, Sony has pat I'm not sure if I'm going to say it right, patented the Wii U style tech in 2009. So, they already have a patent from 2009 that was kind of like Wii U, pretty much. Um, so, I guess Sony thought the idea first but never came out with it first so and people are saying in the comments like it doesn't matter Sony's slow the Nintendo already brought it out first uh, it's whatever but um, here's the patent right here that's supposed to be the portable device that's PS3 and that's TV and um, yeah but in this little description right here, it pretty much says how it's supposed to work or whatever. Basically kind of like what Nintendo's doing a little bit, but you know, it's better to have a demonstration than just read how it works. Cause I mean, it could have been somewhat different. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Um, but we're gonna move on from that. There is a rumor that Media Molecule is working on the PS4 title. Um, cool. Uh, just a rumor. I mean kind of doubt it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they will work on one But if they are I mean it's gonna not gonna be out for a while So not like it really matters, but whatever but moving on from that David Jaffe has said that he He will put twisted metal up against any game out this year and next year 
Now, Twisted Metal looks good, but I mean, it's only, well, I guess two genres action and a racing, so death racing, action racing, or whatever. It's two genres, but like, I don't know. I mean, there's other games that you could do so much, including stuff like that a little bit. So, um, what you could do in that game now, this is more twisted and more insane, but I don't know. This is just uh, racing or games you gotta stay in your car that's not in my field of gaming or racing or I don't know but uh, Twisted Metal does look great I do plan to rent it when it does come out February well Valentine's Day but yeah but moving on from that it has been said that EverQuest may be hitting the PS3 because of um, job listings so job listings kind of led to the fact that EverQuest might really be coming the PS3 but uh, most likely that's the case but we'll see what happens when it's officially announced but moving on from that um, I'll tell you guys this after the gaming news um, well not this but something I just thought of um, but um, it has been said that you'll be get, uh, PlayStation Plus members will begin 10 free games for the month of September and um, yeah go ahead and name those off uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Astro Tripper, and Altered Beast. Free minis will be um, Bashy Blocks, Jelly Pops, and um, Street Smart Street Smarts. Uh, PS1 Classics, Jet Moto, Resident Evil Director's Cut, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 3. Pretty cool. Uh, full Game Trials, Bulletstorm, St. Row 2, Bolt, and Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2012. And um, there's some other stuff, but I'm just gonna say like Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil Co. Veronica at um, will be getting 50% discount when they do release. But those that's only a two week offer. And this all that stuff I just named is um, PlayStation Plus. And there's other stuff, but that's stuff that's not really important. Um, so yeah. Uh, so pretty cool. But moving on from that, it has been said that um, by Sony that the new PSP model that's only available for Europe, uh, but P uh, PSP 4000, PSP whatever the new model. I know they're not calling it 4000, but it's another model. I know it's another model name than 4000, but 4000 could be the other name. It's whatever, but it's uh, as you guys may or may not know about this PSP, um, it's only going to be 100 bucks in Europe, and basically all they did was take out the Wi-Fi, and it looks slightly different. Like there's some little changes on the, um, you know, outside, but uh, yeah. But um, what was I gonna say? Basically, oh yeah, Sony says that the the new model is to attract younger gamers so yeah it's whatever I think it's kinda too late for PSP it was not too late it's just since Vita's coming out it's kinda like no point might as well save that 100 bucks for, and put towards the Vita and save more but it's whatever up to you guys if you guys are planning to get it I mean it's whatever but moving on from that has been said that um, you could update your PlayStation Minis, um, Angry Bird. If you contact customer service and basically, I guess you give them some type of proof that you have Angry Birds. I guess given your PlayStation Network name, they'll check your download history, see if you have even download the game, and then they'll provide you a code to re-download it. But it'll be a new version, which allows you to, which allows the game to run faster. So, yeah, pretty cool. But moving on from that, as there is a rumor that PlayStation Vita will be, be will be released in Japan November 12th, which is kind of a solid release date, so I kind of believe that, and will be out in the U.S. by March 31st, which is before Sony's financial year, whatever thing, whatever. <laughs> but uh, we'll get official details on that at. Uh, at the Tokyo Game Show, so can't wait for that. I think that's from the 15th to the 18th, so coming up pretty fast. It's already the 6th, and I can hardly believe it's already September. Wow. But um, last news I got for you guys today has been said that by Fuzma or whatever 
Japanese gaming mag magazine, Fuzmu. No, I'm not getting Tim saying the name anymore. But it has been said that nine new PlayStation Vita games will be announced di in this week's Fuzma. I'm just gonna call Fuzma, whatever. But um, I did read that some, most of these titles might be titles that are already have already been announced for the U.S., just not Japan. But um, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully they're brand new titles, or maybe two or three of them are stuff that's already been announced. But you know, the rest are like these titles we haven't heard about yet but wait and see I mean probably better to wait till the Tokyo Game Show but it's whatever but um, that's all the gaming news I got for you guys today hope you guys enjoy well yeah um, yeah this was I was gonna tell you guys it's 6 25 a.m. in the morning <laughs> and it's Monday and I don't have school today so that's why I'm making it late and that's why for all you guys probably don't notice that this game is just kind of quiet. I don't know. It's just really quiet. Eh, whatever. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and um, thanks for the support. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, make sure to suggest things for my channel in the comments or private message me just to make my channel better or make me better as a game informer. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.